dear guests and members of the Portuguese and Passive House Network, thank you for invitation uh, to give a short presentation about uh, the Art Museum of Ravensburg. It's the first Passive House Museum worldwide. Um, it's a result of an urban, urban design and architectural competition in the medieval city of Ravensburg. It's uh, in the region of um, Lake Constance in the southwest of Germany. Um, the architect won the competition with his um, perfect design. Also, uh, one target was it has to be integrated. It had to be integrated in the old town. And you can see this facade is done by um, bricks from an old monastery from Belgium. So it's recycled brick facade. A lot of people I know who visited the museum and the town, they didn't recognize that this is, this is an old building. They first thought it's this building uh, is one of the old one and not a new one only two years old. Uh, this museum won a lot of prizes, the German Prize for Architecture. Also one part was energy efficiency in this place. It won the Passive House Award, the International Passive House Award for men, non-residential buildings. It won the prize for the best integrated design in Europe. And this year it was one of the five finishers of the Mies van der Rohe European Architectural Prize. So it won a lot of prizes because of the architecture and the combination of energy efficiency. This is one picture of the facade, the entry. Next picture, please. This is the other side, the entry with the revolving door. Here, a glass uh, part and the three stories of the, uh, this building. This building also has two stories um, underground garage and three stories museum in the upper levels. Next. Some pictures from the inside, very good design. So the building is completely designed by the architect in and outside. Next. You can also see it here, this is the entry, the ground floor. Here is the counter where the museum visitors has to have to pay. And this is the second floor, the main room with the main uh, exhibition of this museum. Um, the museum is uh, part of the Selinka um, family Selinka. Uh, was a, um, a rich uh, family in Ravensburg and they gave uh, the whole uh, exhibition as a present to the town of Ravensburg. Next one. You can see the uh, underground garage. Um, very uh, complicated to make the foundations with drills and concrete. So the most of the heat bridges of the building, 80% of the heat bridges is the foundation. The rest um, ha had to be had to, to be solved in the in the three upper stores stories. Next one. Um, you can see um, this is the, the ceiling above the underground car park garage. Um, we tried to um, fix it with less fixings and as much as possible insulation. Uh, so we used special equipment um, used for um, this um, ceiling insulations. The thickness of the insulation in the ceiling is 26 centimeters to the underground garage. Next one. This is also a special connection. This um, for the brick for facade. This um, first we tried to develop one, and then after some research we found this bracket uh, from um, company's Motorson. Uh, it's stainless steel. Here is the brick facade. Here is the 24 centimeters insulation with mineral fiber, and here is the concrete wall where the whole um, building is uh, mounted on. Here you can see the concrete and the, the steel, fix, steel parts to fix the, the bricks uh, with a with the concrete wall. Next one. The architect wanted to to have visible concrete inside. So the ducts, because of the, the thick insulation, it was possible to install the ducts for the ventilation system outside. This is one of the um, um, marvelous parts in this uh, museum. You, 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 everywhere we have this uh, 
perfect uh, visible concrete walls. Next one. The revolving door was another part to solve. There was no revolving door existing, uh, airtight and uh, insulated enough for uh, energy efficient building and um, not for a passive house. So we uh, developed the door um, with a producer, uh, airtight and high efficient in the energy uh, consumption, less with less energy consumption. These are some designs reduced on edges and uh, areas, how we calculated the heat of the revolving door. Next one. So the air tightness test was done with the blower door equipment in the main door, not in the revolving door. So the revolving door was included and the result, the calculation was 0.6, you know, from passive house and 50, 0.6 is standard and 50% uh, less at uh, the museum in the first measure, uh, short before the museum was opened. Next one. Uh, this is the detail of the attic. Um, standard, as you know, the thickness of the, the roof is 30 centimeters, and these um, uh, parts, concrete parts, on the roof are covered also with this insulation to make it heat bridges free. The technology of a museum is very complicated because uh, in museums the room temperature in 365 uh, days a year has to be very in a, in a very little uh, difference, so 20 to 24 degrees uh, all over day and night of the year uh, uh, had to be endured. And the humidity also 50% plus minus 5%. And this is very difficult, so you need a very a good equipment. And so passive house in the technology is not, not so difficult to um, solve because you need a very efficient uh, technology for heating, for cooling, for humidification and dehumidification. The heat comes from a gas absorption heat pump with 40 kW and uh, with borehole um, heat exchanger uh, 15 uh, kilo kW. This is three drones um, with uh, each 300, uh, 100 meter. Next one. Um, the concrete core uh, temperature control with a, with a brick, with um, concrete ceilings um, is one part of the system, the next one, um, for heating and cooling, the next one, um, and the supply and return temperatures are around uh, 35 to 28 degrees, so low temperature all over the building for heating and cooling. Next one. The same, next one. Um, the domestic hot water was de decentralized by mounted bo boilers with um, electric, electric uh, energy because there is very less domestic hot water to be used in a museum only in uh, the bathrooms. Next one. So, next, no. okay. next one. You can see this. This is a, a large unit for Minerga. This is uh, normally used for, for buildings with these high requirements in climate. It's a heat and moisture recovery system with 90% uh, heat recovery in reality. Next one. Also in addition for VOC and CO2 sensors to bring, uh, to control the, the, the air quality by these sensors to have always very less um, energy um, demand in the house de de uh, de depending on how um, dense it is used by the, by the visitors. And the visitors are the main heating in the building. If there is very less visitors, uh, it's um, um, very less ventilation, only uh, uh, very little volumina, and as more people are in the museum, as more the ventilation system and volumina goes up. Next one. Next one. So the recirculation mode uh, depends on the um, density of use of the building. Next one. So this is 20 to 24 degrees. Uh, is the supply temperature of the air, so it's a little uh, after heated um, and um, it can be 
brought, uh, brought up to a peak of 35 degrees to bring the air preheated pre into the rooms. Next one. Next one. So humidification, dehumidification is necessary to keep this 50% uh, humidity in the rooms. Um, so the brain uh, geothermal heat exchanger is for the preheating. Um, to bring it up to um, um, maximum 7 degrees. The lighting is also very efficient, which presents the detectors, ambient light sensors, fluorescent lights, uh, single spot lights and LEDs. So, in comparison to other German uh, new-built museums, uh, this museum saves 60% of total energy consumption and 70% of the final energy heating consumption. So it's uh, well, far better than the uh, the German building standard. So to the end some information so what we did in this project we are not the architects, we are the engineers, the passive house designer engineers so we are involved in buildings normally with the PHPP, the thermal bridges how to develop the construction how to use, which, which components to use uh, to um, uh, uh, guide the tendering performance descriptions, the performance directory, we train the team, the architects, also the craftsmen, and we make the quality assurance with uh, thermodynamic uh, um, measurements and lower door, and also the building site, uh, accompanying the building site managers. This is our Passive House so. Consulting, and the Passive House Consulting has one main thing, a lot, often the, the, the buildings are getting more and more expensive, it's more uh, developed they are, uh, we try in the passive house consulting to bring it up to a cost, cost effective part but to keep the level of passive house, not to go down with the passive house to keep the level but to bring the costs in a range uh, that's effective and um, affordable for the client and users. Next one. The 500 million building costs we accompanied in the last years, more than 1500 living, living quarters and with different clients, teams, pilot projects. This is 800 flats in Innsbruck, Passive First Standard. This is the first prison in Passive First Standard. This is the first, first courthouse in Passive First Standard. This is in Vienna, and this is Innsbruck um, in Tirol. Next one. These are buildings we are doing now, or we did in the last years, to see um, which um, wide range of buildings old you know, pro protected buildings, uh, NFIT buildings, uh, high-rise buildings, all Passive House certified, NFIT certified. This is the Passive House Plus, next one. This is the Kindergarten, Olympic Village, Norden Areal, office building, seven hotels we did in Passive House Standard certified. And this is our team. Next one. So this, to the end, this is the first Passive House Plus in our region, you may hear. In this uh, conference about the new passive house classes, this is the first one, certified in, eight, in, the, in September this year. And uh, the next one is the first passive house premium worldwide. It's also in our, our region, it's certified uh, some days ago. Um, and you can read it worldwide in the press and in the newsletters of the networks about these buildings. Uh, we certified and accompanied this building.